Catholic, and welcome to our third episode of BNN. First off, we want to start off with the word of the week, which is kimono. A long robe with wide sleeves, traditionally worn with a broad sash as an outer garment by the Japanese. And we have an exciting episode this week with an interview with your very own Brigade Commander, Thomas Ibram, Chucky with the weather, and a special report on how to dance at homecoming. But first, we send it to Jack Mitz with the guitar chord of the week. Jack? A D. That was beautiful, Jack. And now we're going to send it to meteorologist Chucky Rosales. That is a beautiful kimono you have, Chucky. Thanks, Blair. Chucky here with the weather. As you can see behind me, it's nice and dark inside, which means we're going to get a lot of rain this week. However, on Friday, there is a 100% chance of rain. Raining passes, that is. Back to you, Blair. Thanks, Chuck. Now we're going to send it to Aaron Tuttle with an interview with Thomas Ebram. Hello, Aaron. Thank you, Blair. I'm here with Brigade Commander Thomas Ebram. Now, Thomas, I know the first Brigade drill is Wednesday. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty confident. Um, our companies have been doing a lot of work with their uh, freshmen and latus, and our staff has prepared a lot for it, um, which is something that in the past really hasn't been done. Now we know that it's going to be very hot outside, especially on the Brandon turf, so how are you going to stay hydrated for this brigade drill? Well, we've all been drinking plenty of water about a week, to, uh, a week ahead of time. So. And uh, do you have any tips for the freshmen for their first ever brigade drill? Um, it's something that you shouldn't really be nervous about. Um, this is going to help all the companies uh, know just exactly where we stand in, in hopes for the formal inspection coming up in February. So there you go, there's Tom Seabrook, and by the time you guys watch this, the brigade drill will already be over. So, we'll see how it goes. Back to you, Blair. Thanks, Aaron. And we're happy to say that Stephen Burkholder and his lovely date are back to give you some advice on homecoming. Stephen? Thank you, Blair. Now that you boys have a date to homecoming, you're probably wondering, how do I dance with her? Well, I'm here to help. Follow me! Alright, boys. I'm here with my date. I'm sure you remember her from last week. Well, I'm going to show you how not to dance to a fast song. Well, here we go. Hey! I see you right. No kid, you was right. Well, that didn't work out so well. Let's try something else. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm okay, it took a couple tries, but we finally figured out how to dance at homecoming. And remember, stay classy, stay confident, stay confident. Back to you, Blair. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Stephen. And that concludes our third episode of BNN. And just a reminder, Homecoming is coming up very soon. So please get to th room 351 to buy your tickets. It's $25 a couple and $15 for a single. And also, all of you, try your best to get up to Austin for our first district game this week. We will be playing St. Mike's Crusaders at 7.30 p.m. This just in! Echo Company has won the Brigade Drill! Woo! All right! Congratulations, Echo Company! And now we leave you with footage from last week's football game. Kimono! Kimono!